I forgot what just happened. Good morning everybody and happy lockdown 4.0. So we are here on lockdown once again. We're not able to leave. The virus has come back a little bit. So they've done a snap lockdown this time for seven days and we are on day four right now. Um, and we are making some sugar cookies. Naples doing a good job at squishing all the butter into the flour. <laughs> and then once we've got these in the oven, uh, we're going to start getting the bag ready because we'll probably go to the park with Phoebe for a walk. We might actually drive to a different park today because it's a nice day. You okay? Did Phoebe bite your finger? Yeah, careful. Yeah. Yeah, Phoebe's checking if you're okay. She's also smelling all the cookie and flour on you. Phoebe, leave! Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> well, we'll get back to you once we've uh, got these cookies a bit further Hi. along. Hi. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Good job. Very gently. Put your fingers in where it's cracked, yep, and, and then open it up. Good job. Keep all the shell in your hands. Well done. You'll get better at that the more you do it. All right, cookies are done and they're gonna cool down. All right, so we went for the walk but I didn't take the camera and good thing I didn't because April grazed her knee and Cooper scratched his fingers with a rose bush. So it was just ended up being a bit of a disaster. Yep. <laughs> Bandage up here. Yeah, you got a band on your knee. Yeah. Hi. I got to film the prickly bush. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. What are we doing now? We're making cookies. cookies. Where? Look at my car Where? cookie. You're gonna decorate a car cookie. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna decorate a butterfly cookie. Very cool. You got your rainbow icing here that I've just mixed up for you. Uh -huh. All right, and go for it. Start spreading it on. Good? Thumbs up? <laughs> what are you doing? That's a beautiful heart. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tricking. Alright, now on to get the washing in. Good girl. Good girl. Baby, <laughs> sit. Shake. Good girl. Are you excited? Are you excited? You're gonna do zoomies. Oh, there you go. Go do your zoomies. Watch out, baby. Watch out, she's doing her zoomies. So we just had a play outside, now I'm about to have like a little rest before I have to start making dinner, which is very soon, but anyway. So one thing we decided to do, because during kind of all the lockdowns, sleepovers between the kids were happening a lot and they were requesting them a lot. And recently April has just gone into kind of like this phase where she's just anxious about being alone in her room at night, um, which... I know it's a phase and she's gone through a few of them in the past, but she's just really requesting a lot of sleepovers with either myself or Ray or with Cooper. And the last three nights we've had her in the same room as Cooper and she has slept in until seven and so has he. And they both wake up and they play together rather than coming straight up to us. So after doing a bit of research on it, we have decided to actually put them into the same room together um, just for the next six months or so and then when he gets his new bed when he turns five we'll reassess and see if we're going to keep it going like that or if she is ready to have her own room again 
um, or vice versa with him. Both of them are really happy about this. I asked them both many times and they both really want this to happen. So yep, that's what we're doing this afternoon. Moving Cooper's bed into April's room because his is the easiest and the smallest to kind of maneuver around. And then we're moving all of the toys basically into Cooper's room and making his room more like a playroom um, and her room, the actual sleeping room. Anyway, let's go and see the progress because Ray was just about to take Cooper's bed apart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's happening in here? Yeah. All the toys are going in Cooper's room. We got fine here because we're just getting it set up. Yeah. Daddy's still gonna move your bed into the other room. Uh -huh. Come on, look at my room. Let's just get it sorted up. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. So we're gonna move all your caravans yeah, and stuff in there. Maybe that's what you can do to help out. Is yeah. You can pack up the caravans. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then you can move them into Cooper's room. I'm gonna pack up them now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good job. Anyway, we'll update you as it progresses um, and show you what the final product kind of looks like. At this stage, we're not really sure what the layout's gonna be for either room, really, or especially the room with the two beds. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Once we start like having a look to see if the bed is actually gonna fit, um, where it will fit and where it looks the most cohesive is gonna be the main part, but yeah, this is a pretty big step for our little family. The next day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, April. Hello. What are you wearing? <laughs> So welcome to lockdown day five. So yesterday kind of ended on a busted note. Um, the kids' rooms did end up getting finished. I just didn't film it because, yeah, chaos. Um, so this is now their bedroom. Got Cooper's bed over there and April's bed over there. Eventually, like when Cooper gets his bed, if they still want to sleep in the same room, we'll probably have April's bed along this wall and Cooper's bed along that wall. And then this will end up getting rid of and um, getting some new shelves and stuff for the actual cupboard for April um, and for Cooper as well. Eventually I want all their clothes basically in their cupboard because that way they'll have more room in their room for like a desk if they want to when they start school and start getting homework and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then Cooper's room is now the official playroom. So we've still got Cooper's dresser in here because that won't fit in there um, but, and Cooper's like little station here but we've got a Barbie van station over there all the dress ups and just a whole bunch of toys I just got that out which is the Lego um, because the kids are begging to play Lego and now they're not playing Lego so if you're wondering how lockdown's going so I'm just actually gonna have something quick to eat I always have to take these brief moments that the kids are happy playing together and just like do my own stuff oh yes baby. April then Max used to be a baby cat yeah all animals used to be babies. He used to be a kitten. Hey, I didn't hey. see when he was a baby. I know, because he's old. Mummy and Daddy got him before we had you. Uh, one. Then, then we bird for my bed. It's a and a flower. Cool. Got my name on it. Cool. So I've done the housework and now I am getting ready and packing the bag up because we're going to go and meet up with um, their friends from preschool slash kinder and my friend um, just to kind of hang out for an hour do our hour of exercise but in person and yeah socially distancing wearing a mask all that stuff we're gonna go to a little bike park so I was gonna bring her bike Cooper's gonna bring a scooter and I'll probably bring Phoebe I'm, I'm actually undecided about that at the point at this point because it's a lot of work bringing her but I feel bad leaving her knowing that we're going to a park. I'm definitely not taking the camera. If I take Phoebe, there's no camera. So we'll see you when we get back from the park. April, what just happened? What just happened? My tooth fell out. Your tooth fell out. Your first 
teeth. Can I see? Can you show me in your mouth? <laughs> Can I just have a look, make sure there's no blood? No. Oh, wow. You handled that like a pro. Well done. <laughs>